I said, why don't you take some chips off the table? He's like, man, you know, like I generate 60, 70, 75 grand a month in cash flow, and, and I'm good, man. I'm good. I, you know, I work when I want to. And I'm like, dude, I get it. If that's your vision, then that's awesome, you know? You're listening to Flip Empire, the show committed to helping real estate entrepreneurs who want to build their empire without sacrificing their life. Your success and freedom starts now with your host, Alex Pardo. I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine who was actually the one that inspired me about three years ago to start acquiring single family rentals, to start building more wealth. You know, one of the mistakes I think I've made that I want to be very open and sharing with you, which I've talked about in, in previous episodes, is when I got involved in this business in 2005. I got in it for the cash flow. I got in it for the wealth building and the lifestyle that it could provide. And yet I found myself just kind of getting addicted to the income that you can generate from wholesaling and from other transactional parts of the business. And, you know, fast forward 10, 12 years, you know, I've made a lot of money and I've enjoyed a certain lifestyle. But I remember 2016, 17, around there, I, I was like, where's the cash flow? Like if we have a bad month, it hurts, it affects. And so, and I remember there was a hurricane that was hitting South Florida at that time. And I had a conversation with a good friend of mine, Gabe Garcia. And we're like, dude, if this hurricane hits Miami and just knocks us off the grid for an extended period of time, like our business is going to suffer. And we had a conversation about the importance of holding assets that generate cash flow. So I connected, I joined a mastermind around that time. I built a strong friendship with one gentleman who had at the time over 115 free and clear single family rentals in his portfolio. And he had been working for the last 10, 12, 15 years, just amassing that large rental portfolio. And he bought it all cash. Now, granted in his market in the Midwest, you know, he was buying these assets at 20, 30 grand that now had appreciated to a hundred plus thousand dollars. And I was like, dude, why don't you just take some chips off the table? You know, the market at that time, this is 2019, 20 was still pretty hot, not as hot as it might be today or recently. I said, why don't you take some chips off the table? He's like, man, you know, like I generate 60, 70, 75 grand a month in cash flow, and, and I'm good, man. I'm good. I, you know, I work when I want to. And I'm like, dude, I get it. If that's your vision, then that's awesome, you know? And then tax time came around. And because he owned these assets free and clear, he wasn't quite experiencing the tax benefits he thought. All right, my friend, I hope you enjoyed that Flip Empire episode and got a lot of value out of it. Make sure to check the show notes page for any resources that were mentioned. And speaking of resources, honestly, I don't think I've done the best job of sharing with you my top curated, highly recommended tools and resources that I use in my business or have used in my business. In some cases, these are affiliate relationships with people that I highly trust and respect. And I know these tools and resources can help you and your business go to the next level. And as an ethical bribe, if you decide to uh, try out one of these resources using my link, I will go ahead and send you an unadvertised bonus. I'll send you something of high value. All you got to do is shoot me an email, alex at flipempire.com. Go ahead and let me know that you, uh, that, that you tried out this resource and uh, however I can help you getting started with that. Chances are that I know it very, very well and currently use it or have used it. So make sure to check that out, flipempire.com forward slash resources. And if I can be of help or service to you in any way, just shoot me an email, alex at flipempire.com, and I will do anything I can for you. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you on the next show.